Watch this video and then we'll talk about it. Cool. Yeah. Oops. People who post videos like this follow the same script shortly after they post a video or go live making a statement about how it's a joke, this is just how they are, everything is fine, and this is exactly what this woman did on her page. First and foremost, I want to say this and put this PSA out there because I take all this shit seriously. If they are hitting walls and destroying your property, they'll be hitting you and destroying you not too soon after if they aren't already. Someone who destroys things that are meaningful to you, that you worked extremely hard on, does not care about you. They are trying to hurt you intentionally, on purpose. I don't care if they're laughing about it, ha ha ha. It's not funny. They are, they are trying to hurt you and bring you some kind of emotional pain that does not happen and come from people who love you and care about you. And my other issue with this is there's also tons of married women who are going to look at this and they're going to think, oh, well, this is just what married people do. This is marriage humor. This is normal. This is just, this is just how men are. And they're going to gaslight themselves into staying and thinking that getting picked on is just a part of marriage. And I want to tell you, it's not. It's not normal. It, it's not okay. It might be socially acceptable as just, that's just what men do because we've been told to make excuses for men all the time. It's not. It's, it's abuse. It's emotional abuse. It's mental abuse. It's abuse. Full stop. That's what it is. It's not, it's not okay, okay? The, the odd feeling when he does that shit to you is there as a check engine light that something isn't right, and it's not. Now, in her follow-up video, she claims that this is a joke. This is just how they are. They like that kind of humor. So I want to talk about that. I once heard a woman uh, say this last year, and she said, I have no desire to be in a relationship with my brother, meaning somebody who's always going back and forth with you and picking on you and making fun of you. And I 100% agree with that statement. I, don't get me wrong, I love to laugh. I have a very immature Stupid, sometimes dark sense of humor when everybody else in the room is being serious I'm nine times out of ten probably gonna be the one to find something to crack up about I I, I can be funny. I can laugh at funny shit But what a lot of uh, but what a lot of these couples are doing is not funny They fucking just don't like each other. So they're constantly picking and bullying each other or it's the man bullying the woman because he's just tired and doesn't want to fucking be married. So he's taking out all his steam on her. I don't think it's funny for you to knock a phone out of my hand. If you knock a phone out of my hand, there's going to be some problems. I don't think it's funny for you to take my food that I am eating and enjoying and bite it and throw it back onto my plate. That is not funny. I do not think it's funny for me to work for hours and, and or days or however long. I don't care if it's five minutes. I don't, I don't want to put in work on something and you destroy it. A lot of these men do not want to be married. That just like we brought into the lie of patriarchy that once we said I do, we would ride off into the sunset and everything would be great. So did men. So did men. Um, they were told you're going to get a wife and she's going to do everything for you and you're going to get a family and she's going to take care of that family for you and it's going to be smooth sailing. And a lot of men said, okay, I'll go ahead and get married. And then they were like, I, I really don't, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. So instead of being honest and saying that, they just spend the rest of your life torturing you and, and making things hell for you. If you pick on me like that, I'm just going to think you don't like me and I'm not going to be around you anymore. I spent five years in an abusive relationship with a man who was always doing that type of shit to me and thought it was funny. And when the shit finally hit the fan, what drove me to finally leave was him looking at me and saying, I was trying to kill you after he had choked me one night. A healthy, let me use this as an example. 
my friend Mel, she, she recently had a photo shoot and her husband was there recording, taking pictures, handling her outfits for outfit changes, giving her encouragement, trying to make her feel as comfortable as possible, being super supportive. That is a caring partner, somebody who appreciates your hard work and wants to love you and support you and be there for you. If I present you with a bid for attention and you shoot me down or destroy whatever I'm presenting to you, you don't love me. You don't like me. And I said this in a video, I believe that I posted, I think I posted it last week that we as women, we want to call it all these different terms. And that's fine if that's how you, you know, if that works for you. It's this, it's that, it's called this, it's called that. At the end of the day, these men just don't like you. They, they just don't like you. If somebody's reaching a point where they are constantly picking on you, they, they just don't like you. And the faster that we can come to this realization, it's not going to help everyone. But for those who do want to be helped, they will be set free. And this is one of the reasons people always criticize me. Why don't you ever talk about good relationships? Why don't you ever talk about good things and green flags and all the good signs of a healthy relationship? It is because we as women have been conditioned to always look for the good things. He's abusing you, he's bullying you, he's harassing you. But this one green flag that I saw on TikTok, he does that, so it's a good relationship. When you're in a vulnerable situation like that, you're always looking for reasons to stay. You're always looking for a way to gaslight you into believing that it's not as bad as it really is. We're going to say it's because he's depressed. We're going to say it's because he's having a hard time at work. We're going to blame ourselves and say it's because we nag too much. We're always going to look for anything other than the truth.